In the midst of postseason play in college football, we have tons of personnel moves, which will greatly impact 2021. We've got Jason Ray on the line from Last Word on College Football to help us from the Oklahoma angle. Jason, how are you doing on this fine New Year's Day? Doing good. How about you? I am doing just fine. Happy New Year. Tristan yeah. Lee, of course, uh, one of the tremendous players in the country, number 11 rated, regardless of position by 247 Sports, is going to make his decision on the 2nd of January. Yeah, you know, Mark, I think this is this is really the last remaining um, cog, if you will, on, on in, in the Oklahoma 2021 recruiting class. Uh, you know, they only have around 16, 17 scholarships right now. I think Tristan Lee would probably make 17. Um, it is a smaller class in in terms of numbers, but from a quality perspective, it's 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 a pretty solid class. So as you mentioned, number 11th player overall, uh, 247, I think number 14 and number 15 uh, by rivals, number four offensive tackle in the country um, overall, number one in Virginia, number one overall player in Virginia. So really, really big. Uh, for for Oklahoma here, you know it'll be interesting to see if they're they're able to capitalize off of the off of the bowl win first the first postseason wins that they've had since the 2016 season. Obviously, that catapulted into a college football playoff berth in 2017 against Georgia. Uh, Oklahoma has a lot of returning, so I think this is going to be a big this is a big recruit for for Oklahoma. It, it's hard to say. You know, we we talked on here a few weeks ago about how. Oklahoma was really solid on Kamar Wheaton, and then Alabama came in at the last hour, stole him, stole a running back, really kind of from the from the, from the from the grasp that Oklahoma had for two consecutive years. Really, I think Oklahoma is battling with with LSU, um, you know, maybe Florida to a, to a certain extent, um, and certainly Clemson as well with this. I think it probably. It really kind of, kind of comes down to Oklahoma uh, and LSU. I would say probably the two biggest uh, com competitors for his, for his services. So really big, uh, really big guy, six seven two fifty. You know, kind of a, a mauler anchor on the on the left side um, of an offensive line. You know, might need a year to develop, but really, anytime you have an opportunity to land that top ten um, player overall in the country, it, it, it's really big. When you look at Oklahoma from a recruiting rank perspective right now, they're around ninth, tenth uh, area. I think ninth currently. If they're able to. If they're able to get Lee. I think that would probably solidify a top ten recruiting class. Certainly, there's some other other folks in the in the late signing period that could um, that, that could go either way for some of the other teams. But yeah, this is considering this is the this is Oklahoma's last really big fish that they that they want to try to try to reel in. Really important to. In that recruiting note, recruiting season on the good note after a little bit of the sour taste um, in Oklahoma's mouth with, with losing Kamar Wheaton. Again, Tristan Lee, number one overall player in Virginia, number four offensive tackle as Jason has run down, and the 11th rated player regardless of position. So consider all the positions. This is verified air. You see a lot of wide receivers and offensive tackles, maybe some cornerbacks in that uh, elite, elite of the elite's positions in the top 50 or so so just the fourth rated offensive tackle which is certainly high high praise but to be the 11th overall player shows you uh, a high grade on offensive tackles here in 2021 the considerations are oklahoma lsu and clemson 247 sports uh their prognosticators leaning oklahoma pretty heavily and again the announcement to come at 2 p.m eastern time during the uh what is typically the uh, army all-american game it will be a virtual um, media session of sorts and television presentation coming up on January 2nd. Got Jason Ray on the line from Last Word on College Football here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of College Football. Please subscribe. Hit that bell for the notifications. That way you know when we're going live. And, uh, Jason, you had mentioned to me your last count on the quarterbacks who had uh, entered the transfer portal was upwards of 75. I know that I've heard – counts of plus 400 and rising each day in the portal overall. And uh, it's affected the Sooners, of course. Yeah, you know, really, it really has. Oklahoma has in, now has their third, maybe their fourth, actually, it's their fourth player that has, has entered the uh, the transfer portal. Tanner Mordecai did so last week. He's committed to SMU. A uh, really good spot for him. Um, TJ Pledger announced a week or, a week or so ago that he was going to enter the transfer portal. 
Uh, Jalen Conyers, not a whole lot of people know about him. True freshman tight end, uh, really just didn't get an opportunity this year. That was a little bit surprising how quickly he moved over. And then last night, Chandler Moore, who was who kind of served as the backup quarterback in the in the Cotton Bowl for Oklahoma, had announced that he was, was is going to move on. Not incredibly surprising with Caleb Williams coming in, but I think that uh, that puts Oklahoma in a little bit of a precarious spot coming into 2021. You know, really right now, they only have one scholarship quarterback in Spencer Rattler uh, coming back. Certainly, Caleb Williams will come into the fold uh, next year. And certainly that, you know, just from a lack of numbers perspective, that solidifies his spot at the very least as a backup uh, heading into 2021. You know, really, um, I mean, it's it's unfortunate for Oklahoma, really, because it's a little bit of a precarious situation, right? You have a guy, you know, who is one play away from who's never he has no experience whatsoever playing in 2021 so it'll be interesting to see what oklahoma does they've had uh, tanner schaefer has he's a he's a senior he's a walk-on um i i wouldn't be surprised to see lincoln riley ask him to come back for another year just from a death perspective you know they may look at you know at that from a transfer portal perspective bringing someone in uh, I don't know who would want to come in to battle against Rattler and then, you know, obviously Caleb Williams, one of the top top five quarterbacks in the – I mean, top five overall recruits in the country. They may look at a preferred walk-on uh, situation as well. But, you know, you mentioned it, you know, 400-plus people in the transfer portal, I think are upwards of 70, 75, specifically from a, a quarterback perspective. I think it'll be interesting. It's probably a year like no other that, that we've seen, you know, there's – with the pandemic allowing seniors to come back for, you know, additional 2021 season. I think you'll see some seniors wanting to come back and maybe teams don't necessarily have room for them with the new, with, you know, with the new players that they got coming in from a recruiting perspective. So I think the, the portal will probably be as interesting, if not more interesting than ever um, in this off season. And w- what will end up being a, a very prolonged advanced recruiting uh, year for for all of these teams because I think there's a lot of teams like Oklahoma that's taking um, less players than, than they typically would not even close to the 25 uh, that you would that you, that you might normally see um, so they might look along with other teams at, at this transfer portal uh, with with uh, kind of the inter- interesting circumstances uh, going into 2021 and you know there's certainly a lot of there's a couple of guys on, on Oklahoma side that they may um, that may have an opportunity to come back. Ramondre Stevenson's one of those that could come back as a as a senior. You know, didn't get a lot of tape um, in the year, um, so it'll be interesting to see how that kind of works out through through the through the spring season here. Jason Ray joins us on a regular basis to update us on Oklahoma football. Please uh, join him on Last Word on College Football. Our friends over there, LastWordOnCollegeFootball.com. Jason, we always appreciate the update, uh, keeping us. Um, Right up to the moment, Don, one of the uh, fine players in the country, Tristan Lee, announcing on January 2nd. Appreciate that. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Mark. Thanks for having me on.